What about him in later rounds? I mean, did you start to feel under pressure? Did you feel he was turning up the heat? Not or did you think he had something else? I, I, I can fight that fight, but just got a bit too complacent. It's just a, sh a shame the way that it panned out. You'll go yeah. back home, though, with the awesome reputation and be front and centre. Like, are you looking forward to... Like I'm just getting back and fighting in front of big crowds and showing everyone how you're going. Yeah. I need to go back and rest and look, I only want to take hard fights because you know, for some reason Benny knows I just I can't even get up for easy ones. I'll perform very badly if I do take those easy fights and that's when you take hard ones. Hard ones are ones that would make me get remembered and ones that are worth it. And you know, fuck, this is worth it. I have the next fight is one that's worth it and, and you know, I just want the Australia to know that I'm a true champion and I just want to be in championship sort of fights. Well, close enough. Oh, give me another hard one after this. Mm. You know, go, go back and rest, obviously. Go back and rest and do just get for next one, everybody. 100%. Fuck. It's a, ch it's, a, it's a bit of a chicken of pride, but it's a shame. It's an endless bit of a dream. Mm. On to the next one. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks, well done, Appreciate you, John. You should be proud, mate. Yeah. Because you had some. That was awesome. Hey, um, Liam, I got here a little late. I apologize. Um, just want to ask you just uh, a few questions on him. When you spoke to uh, Emmanuel, what did you guys say in the ring? Sorry, who's sorry? When you guys spoke, Navarrete. when you spoke to Navarrete after the fight, what did you guys tell each other? Um, I don't actually know. Like, I was a bit rocky <laughs> at that stage, and I, I don't know what he said. <clears throat> but you know, I could gather he'd say, you know, "Well done," and yeah, likewise to him. Mm. Yeah. You come out on top, but I fell short. When you connected with the hook, did you feel that you had him pretty much out there? <clears throat> well, now I think back on it, and I'm like, yeah, definitely. Because he was on the ground long enough, his eyes were sort of like they were rolling in the head. I felt like he was definitely gone, and it's just a shame that, you know, like, it took all that time for him to get back up him to get his composure and get his senses about him and he was able to spit his mouth guard out by a few more seconds and next thing you know it's nearly 30 seconds and you know it's, it's a shame but I don't, I don't think I don't think that's fair. What, what do you make of the ref giving him that? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's just pretty poor you know if I do that I'd expect the same you know I'd, I'd expect the same sort of thing to come back to me you know it was nearly 30 seconds and it's not right. You know, the next round happens. Did you feel that you could have taken him out in that round if you would have pressed on the gas a little bit more? Can you take me through that round? Yeah, all due to credit to him, he was very awkward and that was hard to win the shots. His head was up and down. He's, um, he's very long, just deceivingly long and your distance was, my distance was completely out the whole time. And I, I just remember missing so much. And um, he's a very awkward fighter, but I felt like it was only a matter of time for me to get him again. But I just had to get him, and um, you know, obviously I couldn't. But it is what it is. The body work that he was doing did it affect you at all in the later rounds? Yeah, yeah. He landed some good body shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won't take that away from him. He landed some good body shots. Not enough to, you know, drop me or anything like that. But I could feel it. Mm -hmm. I felt like he was getting me into the body, and he was getting very trigger happy. And I was trying to make him enough distance to just wait for this big left hook to make him walk straight in. But I was, I was, I was in. Uh, I was conscious of that. Mm. He was getting very trigger happy. And I was just trying to make enough distance to him to come lunging in. But, again. Yeah, but because I'd heard him before and prior to that. So, <clears throat> well, it looks like he's already got plans to fly Velders, so I don't think it's going to happen. Um, hmm. I'm always wanting to take a rematch, and I'm, I would, but. Will he? Will he? Like, I don't know. How do you feel about the whole experience, you know, training here in the US and being here for away from home? How was that? How tough was that for you to do this training camp? Um, no, it was really good. I was um it wasn't it wasn't really too tough because I did it for the right cause and I did it for my 
mentioned that uh, for a part of my journey. I trained out of Headhunters, Headbangers, or Headbangers sorry, Headbangers Boxing Club out of, of uh, DC, and um, under Barry and Boogie, and there's great hospitality there, and I'd like, I'd like to think they're a part of Team Wilson now. And Jamie and Juice. Jamie and Juice. Like, yeah, we've got heaps of work over there for the last seven weeks, um, seven, eight weeks, that is. And, um, you know, Barry Hunter really motivates me. And I, I, Boogie, the man on the pub works, and I just I love being in that gym. I think. Red. 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 You know, I, love, I love being in that gym, and I, can, I really do consider him a part of Team Wilson. You know, Bat Barry, he got me fired up in the corner. That's, you know, that's the sort of person I need, you know, part of He's a big part of Team Wilson. Boogie's a big part, like, man, we got so much work over there for the last seven weeks, and it's a shame that tonight we, um, we come short. You know, my hand wasn't raised and uh, it guts me, you know. But they're part of the team now. What do you come away with this experience, uh, with this fight? What do you think you're gonna learn from this? Um, I don't know, like, I just like the hard fights. Trust me, I'll, I'll go back, rest up, and I'll be in another hard fight. I, I really can't get out of bed for an easy one. Uh, I, I just tend to drop down to the level, so I'll, I'll take another hard fight and another hard fight as long as my career lasts, lasts, and yeah, we'll see where it takes us. You know, I, I think with fights of, of these, you win a lot more than, than what happened officially, and we saw it last week with Yard and Better Be If, where actually Yard came out, you know, mm -hmm. like he, he won, which he didn't, and I feel yeah. this applies the same way because the, a new audience got to see you and the type of heart you have and the type of fighter you are. Yeah, yeah well, that's one good thing to take away from it. And, um, <laughs> So I just, I just, yeah, I don't know. I just have to come back and show the world what I'm made of. Like I thought tonight I could have done that, but I just, I just fell a bit short there. That's it, guys. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Man. Thank you, man. Thank you.